Argentinian team. It's always great to see the best in the business, Craig Jubert, in charge of this one. So Craig has joined the World Rugby staff now as a coach and referee. Coach of referees and significant man. Here's a significant man kicking off Argentina's veteran captain, Gaston Revol. Away go the blue and whites of the Pumas of Argentina against the black team of New Zealand. And it's a try! Or is it a try? It's fumble. We'll have to have a look and see what referee Joubert called straight into the action to make the call. Yes, got the call. Well, that was going to be a try after 11 seconds. Yeah, it was a missed jump from New Zealand and went over the top. And I think it was Nicolas Mendes who latched onto. But look at Kuroi coming across, swings his arm, knocks the ball away. What a play from the young man. That's a beautiful play by Kuroi and uh, a, a, a mistake by the Argentina player who didn't have the ball across secure in either two hands or against his upper torso to uh, put the ball down for a try. Good lesson. Uh, learned, I guess, but a tough lesson for the Argentinian team to take so early on. Now, New Zealand running it out of the danger zone into uh, attacking territory. Sione Molia, number 12. Kuroi Collier. Look at this tough, aggressive defence from Nicolas Menendez, DJ Forbes. Nicely off the floor by Kuroi, the teenager. Down goes Stowers. That's the 22 Beat meter the line there. New Zealand right back. And it's a turnover for the Blue and Whites of Argentina. Well called by the referee and well seen. But uh, Collier working hard. Now, here come the Boomers running it out in the backs. This is the tough guy they've got to stop. Menendez. Lack of your feet. Quick decision the made by Joubert. There is Luna. He's the man called by Carl Tanana as one of the dangers. And the referee off, has gone in. He's going to make a yellow card call here, I think. Player. I think it's a heat clash here with oh, Kuroi. Yeah, I think Luna was the one who went in strong. Kuroi went a little bit too upright and caught the head on head. You see there, Fernando Luna realizing and making sure it was all right. Totally by accident. This will be a huge moment in the game. Kuroi is so important on the attack and defense. As we're seeing, Fernando Luna goes down and then right on, head on head. Yeah, that's tough. Well, that's all. So I'll make sure we just check it out. Oh, that, was a, that was a very sad clunk on for Karoy. He goes off to be checked. And uh, that means a good replacement for New Zealand coming in. The experienced Bodine Walker coming in. meters, time on, penalty. But time on, penalty to Argentina. And Rabal. He has this man in the four picture. Is, uh, number four Menendez takes it to the open field though short pass and it's Luna who's in great ball play there from Raval takes it to the line engages the defense you can see me here's the one with ball in hand the captain passes it across and it's actually the number eight Liera you can see Jaws and Tim Mickelson the defense has to come in they don't and the nice short pass to Fernando Luna, the ball for some good hard work early on. Very secure on the goal kicking too. Beautiful short ball, wasn't it? A bullet pass from Riera. Well, that's just a little bit of lack of communication there. DJ Forbes is actually coming across. He has to tell Tim Mickelson the slide there. He didn't hear the call. That's what opened the hole, but you still got to get the ball there. Nice it's option there. Nice pass by Riera. It's a shock for New Zealand. Mickelson waits, hands up and ready for the catch. The previous kickoff to them was a real disaster. Let's see where this one's gone. Gone into the safe catch of Dylan Collier. Way to Waka now. New Zealand, Sorry. all of their passing and attacking has been back here, hasn't it? Referee apologised then for being in the way a little bit as the ball was coming along the back line. So New Zealand in possession here in the mall, but not able to run out of their own half and turnover time. Yeah, this is where you don't want to live against the Argentinians in the contact area. They moved the ball initially well to Sione Molia on the far side. Unfortunately, Yopo Yopo also gets caught a, little, caught a little bit too high and can't release that ball. T-shirt there with the word Aotearoa 
on it. That's the Maori translation, the Maori word for New Zealand, and the word loyal on the flag there is the uh, song that, um, well, many would consider very close to the anthem of New Zealand. Set. Famous song by New Zealand singer Dave Dobbin. Backward play one on, of the backward. Lions is history is here and now, and it's history here and now for New Zealand against Argentina. And here they come again, the Burn Watch Revolt. Rolls the ball over the top. Get to the man who gets the try before. Who got the try before? No, Fernando Luna. Something over a rush. Penalty again. A lot of penalties stacking up against New Zealand. I actually thought New Zealand were unlucky. They looked like Argentina They're actually sealed off that run. Right in front of the post. They had no option to go for that ball. That's why they thought they had to in French. A great work by this Argentinian team. Keep in possession, Keith. They're a crafty team. They kicked the ball out yesterday and took the draw, and everyone thought that was a strange decision, but they knew they'd scored a 43-0 win over Russia in their first game, so they had the points advantage. No, tackle, right, and the points go. difference over Kenyan didn't want to overexert themselves, and now they really are exerting themselves in a very aggressive game here against New right Zealand, on Black. whom they've beaten Counter before this season. It's all a ruck. Blue are going forward. Scrum. Counter rack is good. Counter rack back is good. Yeah, it feels okay. Both teams really putting numbers into that contact area. Boating Waka do some great work initially. There's Mock. Very much has to stand up in the playmaker role now for this New Zealand team with Kuroi or Boating Waka. Great opportunity for him to re establish himself in this team. There's Waka played in Dubai at the start of Crouch. this series. That was event one five. of the ten we're having this year. This is event Six. five here in Las Vegas. And, uh, so he's back again for this one. Again, possession for the blue and whites. Having a great first half here against New Zealand. And an over lap on the right side. Menendez going in. The referee gives it now. Just a little pause before Craig Jubeer awards the try for Nicholas Menendez. They're playing the game in the right end of the field, are this Pumas team? New Zealand just can't get out of their own 22 at the moment because of the sheer pressure at the breakdown. It was a hard ball to take. You see the numbers chasing across from New Zealand. One, two, three, four around that one area. Nice pass by Lorna. It was a two on one situation. Bodie Waka had no opportunity. And did he get the ball down there just at the end? Dylan Collier comes across, smacks the ball out. Yes. Hits the post, bounces away. You're the man that made the tackle. In scoring the try, oh, was a no, high tackle across the head. So there is a, away from our cameras, there's a, been a call made by the referee, and Dylan Collier has been yellow carded for the tackle in the try by this man here, Nicholas Menendez. So I think that she came from the assistant referee. He comes in over the top, targets the ball, and slips off the ball. It goes up high. That's why he's got the yellow card in two minutes sit down. So this is not a this is a just a penalty rather than the free kick. It's not much different. There it goes there around the head. And so uh, they are really coming down hard and something we've got to get used to as the siren goes for the end of the first half and New Zealand are playing down this end. Anyone who's bought tickets up at the far end. Uh, hold the phone the boomers might be up your end in the second half right. the way they're going as we go to the halftime break it's all happened down the left hand end and the boomers lead new zealand by 12 to nil at the break with a head flash like the one we saw so rapidly has to go down underneath the sand and answer some uh, questions and tests. And he is back in the game and kick off the win. Just curling that one, but a good take by these three dominant players Black, for Black, Argentina. Uh, just mark their numbers, three, four, and four six. Four. Luna, Menendez, and Asadchuk. Yeah, well, I actually think Nando Luna is the one that's really gelled this four pack four together for this Pumas team. Yopawaso was the one who tried to come across here. Tim Mickelson doing some cleanup and Yopawaso getting back nicely in cover. And there's the four pass right there. Good call, Craig Jubet. Jokin Riera, number eight involved there. There's uh, Franco Sabato out the wing, number 11. 
finds. I didn't see much of the action at all. These guys up front working so hard for Argentina. Peroy, watched by Riera. New Zealand, here is a rare instant for them just coming over into Argentina territory. And a good time for New Zealand to get that penalty because they'll take it to the line out and hopefully with 15 seconds less by the time they're able to set this, they'll be up to their full complement. Okay, that's a nice kick away to the sideline by Kuroi. Remember two kicks, this young kid. I'm saying kid, he was at high school last year. Now he's starting to acquit himself and look comfortable as well on the international stage in sevens. Now coming into the bottom of the picture, you see the substitutes bench, those three guys that worked so magnificently in the first half being subbed off. And uh, coming on is Felipe Del Mestre, is one of the couple Someone of players that came on. Three players coming on. And New Zealand have got Collier back in the game, so they're up to seven now just a two minute spell in the sin bin Roy's throw taken down nicely by Yopo Aso Sioni Molia Raton Blue Mickelson Fine I see this is fantastic the aggressive defense now feeling off New Zealand feeling off again, can't make play progress into Argentina territory Selling off. I thought he was okay with the tabletop on the zone, holding the zone, body weight. The interesting to see if you do have a replay of that, but this is the big one. Fernando Luna is going to kick it to the sideline into the win. So there he is, uh, Bottle Salsa. He's from the Tucuman Lawn Tennis Club. Some of the clubs in uh, Argentina uh, are really sports clubs. They have a whole yes. lot of other sports that they yeah. play in. They play hockey. So there we see a bit of what the Six first, Nations um, referees have been questioned the by, the question by senior so players about the rulings. Yeah, it's too late to reload after you've had the effect, you know. The referee hasn't quite said, uh, I'm uh, not the coach, I'm just a referee. Not yet. Which was the famous quote from the... Italy gave it quicker than in the Six Nations recently. Postwood. What the Argentinians are doing really, really well because they're competing so hard at the breakdown in the contact area. Couldn't see if I could. Run settling New Zealand at the moment. That's been a strength of them, especially on day one yesterday. And New Zealand here, if they can score yeah, on the set piece, still a long time to go, four yeah. minutes. Crouch. Just get their confidence back. Binds. Front three for Argentina. Come back, please. Excuse yeah, me. Same Don't three. Refuse. Scrum for the yep. Same three that they started with. Just crouch. Find. Set. Stowers. Molina. This is all in, back down on the New Zealand's half. Peroy trying to spark it and make space, and he's done that. Mickelson. Still 60, 55 metres out, though. Tenacious defence there by Joaquin Riera. As I tell you, he's really, really hard on New Zealand. These breakdowns, he's not giving them any leeway whatsoever here Kuroi does brilliantly well to give it to Tim Mickelson does what he does he goes up the middle of the park he does well to keep strong and wait for his support plays here but you just watch Argentini come in right there he's challenging the ball that's fine but GJ Ford blows yes, him up and he's off his feet there That's a huge stat for mine. Four visits to the 22 for Argentina and zero for New Zealand. So number three for New Zealand is Troll Juas. Juas and here they come. Argentina again. They've done really well here. 
That's uh, Lucas Bellotto. Not so good that pass, didn't connect. Got the points on the board though. With just two minutes to play. 12 to nil they lead. Away That's this it. time from Renzo Barbier. away now very good run here by Gonzalez Rizzono ball is kept in place superbly by Toroy and a chance for New Zealand to break out Collier still 65 That's meters right. out from the line and New Zealand can make no progress or can they from this one lovely look away pass sees DJ Forbes given the chance to run away and he knows he hasn't got the legs to do that but he has got the strength to get there have you ever seen a runaway from this man in his 11 years on the tour I don't think so but look at the skill here Keith Troy comes and pops it look at that you cannot teach skill like that from Villamoni Claw and he still gets involved and gives the last pass to DJ Forbes. He is 50 meters out when he gets there, changes the ball in the right hand, fends it off, stays strong. The cap gets it done for NZ. That is a wonderful try. You see the uh, Aotearoa row and the loyal fans cheering. So there is going to be time after the kick for a restart, but it's going to have to be a, a seven pointer to win the game. New Zealand have qualified to go through. We must remember that. If New Zealand were able to score and convert it, that could maybe be Argentina's second draw in this pool. What would that mean in the scheme of things? DJ Forbes, outstanding. Fantastic, but the second remains. So let's see. All important to get the possession from the kickoff, but they kicked it deep and away from the catches. So let's see what Argentina can do. And straight into the DJ Forbes tackle, he goes, cleared away. They're keen to get the ball towards the sideline, I think, in the last second to kick it out and take the win. Here they come. This has been a very fine performance by a thinking Argentina team. Tumbling over to get the ball. Timmy Mickelson Keith gives them an opportunity. They'll slow it down and step. Now they go quick. Joas gets it away. Here is Collier. He's got Sherwin Stowers out wide. And he gives it to Collier. And Collier's going to bolt for the corner. Brings it inside. And the young man, Isaac Tatamaki, has scored and given New Zealand a chance with the kick to come. The well, this experience of Timmy Mickelson getting the turnover. Nice timing of the pass by Collier. He runs a nice supporting line, backs himself, but he sees the end pass, draws in two defenders. Isaac Tatamaki comes and tries to bring it around to make it easier to conversion and the two points to level it up Keith well it was kind of like a, that last pass was kind of like a shot put pass he just pushed it from his from his shoulder and over it goes so if this kick goes over look at the, the wind blowing the posts it's strong and Karoy, this 18 year old has the chance to level the score it'll be the second draw argentina has as he miss hit it it's a shocker it's a blooper and uh, that was bad luck for for him he's played such a vital role in the game there's the try scorer and there's the disappointment for Karoy. but uh, we have to salute a wonderful performance by argentina aggressive defense and they took their scoring chances they missed another one they should have perhaps got in the first second and they've won the game over new zealand by 12 to 10. however both of these teams will qualify for the cup competition in 24 hours from now